Get ready for some family fun as we take a ship tour of the Norwegian Bliss. And make sure that you stay until the end of the video because we have an exciting way to navigate any Norwegian cruise line ship. What's up y'all, it's Pam and Jeff with You, Me and the Sea Travels and we are headed north to Alaska. The Norwegian Bliss was built in 2018 and refurbished in 2021. It has a capacity of 4,000 passengers. The Bliss is the sister ship of the Encore, Escape and Joy. Let's start off our ship tour by visiting some of the restaurants. We'll begin with La Bistro, the signature French restaurant. La Bistro is a specialty dining restaurant and is an extra cost. Next we visit the American Diner. This casual diner offers a diverse selection and is a la carte. Up next we have Ocean Blue, another specialty dining experience where seafood is king. This is Malting's Whiskey Bar. With amazing views on the starboard side, they offer a unique variety of international spirits. Moving on, we strolled by the Cavern Club where you can listen to great music by a Beatles cover band. Make sure you get there early because it's always packed. If you're in the mood for an Italian meal, then La Cucina is the place to be. Enjoy a bottle of wine, get wrapped up in a plate of pasta, but just remember to save room for dessert. La Cucina is a specialty restaurant found on many Norwegian ships. As we head out toward the waterfront, we look in on another specialty restaurant, Food Republic, which is a culinary diversity of Japanese, Korean, and Chinese menu items.
District Brew House boasts of more than 50 bottled beers and no less than 24 draft beers. Live music and a photo booth makes this more than just a bar. Los Lobos and Cagney Steakhouse are other superior specialty restaurants you should make a part of your dining experience while on board the Bliss. While waiting to be seated, visit the A-List Bar for a signature cocktail. Teppanyaki is a hibachi style restaurant, a very entertaining way to share dinner with friends, family, and other passengers. Finally, there are three dessert specialty options. Coco's offers mad milkshakes, bonbons, chocolates, gelato, crepes, and coffee. And Dulce Gelato has many different flavors of gelato. The Bake Shop teases you with French macaroons, chocolate bonbons, and gourmet cupcakes. And moving on from specialty dining, The Bliss offers three main dining rooms. The Manhattan Room, Taste, and Savor. They offer similar menus and are complimentary. In between taste and savor is mix. 
where you can grab a drink while you wait to be seated for dinner. Now if you need a quick bite to eat and don't want to fight the buffet crowds, the local bar and grill is a great option. It has a pub-like menu and all meals are very good. As we pan around, we overlook the atrium area, where numerous events are held throughout the cruise and can be quite loud if you're trying to get a quiet meal. There is also overflow seating and a bar. A mini bowling alley and arcade games round out the area. Up at the Garden Cafe, we discovered some interesting carvings made from watermelons. Now after all of that food, I'm feeling a bit lethargic. Let's go up to the Pulse Center. Exercise with a view, now we're talking. If the fitness center isn't for you, then there's other options, like the video arcade. If you feel the need for speed, then the Bliss Speedway may be for you. There are specific rules, so read them before you ride, and it does cost $15 a person per ride.
Spice H2O is a good place to catch some sun and relax. There is a bar to enjoy your favorite drink while chilling. It also has some great activities in the evenings. Trade Winds is where the shopping happens on board. On the atrium level, we have Starbucks, Cruise Next, Shore Excursions, Guest Services, and on the opposite side is the Internet Cafe and the Atrium Bar. The Observation Lounge is a great place to relax, take in the views, and maybe play a card or board game. The social comedy and nightclub is the place to laugh and have a great time. If you're into the gambling scene, the Bliss has a very large casino that is non-smoking. If you do smoke, don't worry, there's a spot for you.
Table games are on both sides of the non-smoking side of the casino. Here's a quick shot of the smoking casino. The Bliss Theater offers top shelf entertainment, including the Jersey Boys. If you're a Frankie Valley and Four Seasons fan, then you'll really enjoy this production. Here's a packed house the night we went. Here is the Humidor Cigar Lounge. A brief look at the Haven. The Vibe Beach Club is an adult only area with a bar. You can pre-purchase a pass or get one at the guest services area once on board. Here's a sneak peek at the lounge area of the Vibe Beach Club. While we're outside, let's take a look at the pool and bars on the Lido. Here's just one of the hot tubs on board and a view of the water slides. Hope you're not planning your cruise around mini golf. There are only five holes and they're not very challenging. Laser tag anyone? The Bliss has entertainment groups for the kids. Guppies go from six months to three years old. The Splash Academy goes from 3 years old to 12 years old, and the Entourage Teen Club goes from 13 to 17. And here's a beautiful sunset in Alaska. Alright, well you've stayed till the end, and as we promised, here's a cool way that you can navigate on the NCL ships. Norwegian puts fishies on the carpet that swim toward the front of the ship, so if you get off the elevator in the aft, and you know your stateroom is Ford, all you have to do is follow the fishies. Hey guys, we thank you for watching. Be sure to check out one of these videos and we'll catch you next time as we go cruising through life one port at a time.